I'm with uh, James Buck with uh, Aspen Avionics and the company Cirrus, and uh, we're flying behind the new Evolution Max displays. Uh, these are an upgrade from the existing Evolution displays that uh, go way back. What are the major uh, enhancements to these new Max displays? And uh, in the Cirrus here, we're looking at three of them. Uh, what suite is that called? Is that 2500 suite? This is the Evolution 2500 Max system. Uh, the big, the, the, the Max upgrade is really a hardware upgrade. So the Evolution system has been around for about 10 years now. And, you know, we got to a point where the processor, graphics card, and glass, you know, just couldn't keep up with what we needed to continue to do with for our customers. So inside the Max displays, our brand new, brand new uh, processor, brand new graphics card, brand new sensor board, uh, brand new battery, and new glass. And what that gives us is pretty much everything inside. Every, everything internal is new. There are some small feature sets, but the big things are the graphics card uh, is possible for 16 million color combinations instead of the 16 the current one has. 16 million colors. 16 million color. Uh, what, did, what did the old ones have? 16. So quite an order of magnitude of improvement. The processor is four times as fast as the current processor. So what that means is when you're when you're overloading you know, the display, you have the synthetic vision, traffic, weather, all on there at once, you're going to see no, you know, there's no ratcheting, nice and smooth movement all the way around. Um, the big thing in the glass, which I'll show you here in a minute, we get direct sunlight on it. With direct sunlight, it pinches up on the glass. You cannot tell a difference if the sun, sunlight's there or not. It just soaks up the sun. No reflectivity. A really nice piece of a really nice piece of glass we got now. Now, James, this is a three-screen suite. What kind of redundancy do we have with the new Max system compared to the old Evolution? Uh, in this airplane, we've got three, three, three screens and one attitude indicator. What's required? So, right now, um, our current system, uh, three-screen system, does require a backup attitude indicator. What we're doing with the Max display is we have dual AHARS 80. What that means, if you had a pedostatic blockage and you couldn't clear it, uh, the back systems will take GPS ground speed and continue to give you an AHAR solution. With the, um, because we have that solution, now there's no backup required at all. So, once this is certified, I'm going to redo my panel and take that attitude again on just my three displays right there. And that backup GPS data is coming from... Uh, it's coming from the GTNs. And it doesn't matter, it could be a pair old, old GNS 430, 530s. They don't have to be lost, just an IFR panel mount. It could be an older Apollo. Uh, KLN, as long as it's an IFR certified display, um, you'll be able to get that ground speed, that GPS ground speed we require. We've got direct sunlight on these displays and definite improvement. Uh, if you fly with the older evolution, you'll, you'll definitely see that these screens are a lot brighter. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the altitude intercept arc. So basically we're at 2,500 feet, and say we're told to climb up to 4,500 feet. So we'll go ahead and set the altitude bug, notice it gets bigger. We'll go ahead and set up to 4,500 feet. And now once we start climbing, you'll see an intercept arc once we start climbing where we're going to intercept that altitude. Okay, so power's coming in. So there's the intercept arc. That's where we're going to be. So we want to increase the rate of climb to get up there a little faster. So say I need to be at 4,500 feet by crowd. I know I've got to climb at you know, roughly seven or six feet per minute to begin to get there in time. But right now, now you can select METAR flags on the on the MFDs, and uh, it's really handy. You get the color coded METAR flags. So if you're doing a long cross country, you, you can see the color code to see if the weather's and how the weather is improving or deteriorating. You, you, know so. you can also use the pan function and, and highlight the flag and see exactly what the weather is. Now another function uh, related to the audio output is a minimums feature. Correct. So when you set your minimums, before you just had a uh, minimums bug you'd set up here on the PFD, whatever your MDA is for the approach. And once you approach, as, you're, as you set that, as you're coming down about 100 feet you're going to call out minimums, approaching minimums. And then at minimums, you'll get another call out. So it's like flying with a really good co-pilot, almost like a crew-served aircraft where you've got someone backing you up, and that's the Aspen's backing you up at that point. And just like the original displays, we've got some major options, including an angle of attack, uh, integrated angle of attack, and we also have uh, synthetic vision. Correct. And well, the cool thing about that, when you upgrade your displays, there's nothing else you need to repurchase. All those, anything you unlocked before, angle of attack, synthetic vision, ADSB, those remain in the configuration module. So when your new displays arrive, you don't have to reset anything. 
Uh, there's no recalibration. Right Everything's just retained in the configuration module, so it makes it for a really easy upgrade. And how about if you're a customer with uh, multi displays? Multi display customers, you have to upgrade all dis all three all three displays or all two for both three displays. You can't mix and match. You can't mix and match because the software won't talk to each other. The only additional wire that needs to be done is since the Max displays have audio out now. There's an, a one wire that goes from the PFD to your audio panel. And that's it. Other than that, it's going to be a pretty simple installation. We also have an exchange program where if you didn't want to wait the 10 days for us to rebuild your unit, we could send to your shop a, a rebuilt display already, and you can actually do this all in one day. You can show up at the shop when your display arrives, he pulls out your display, he sends it back to us as a core, he takes a, it adds the additional wire, install your PFD, and off you go. Customers will start shipping new displays on July 1st, and those are going to be 10 995 which is amazing because that's the exact same price as our current display. We didn't increase our prices at all. Now Aspen launches a new Max product into a competitive market of retrofit displays. Garmin has no fewer than three display lines. That includes the now STC G3X Touch, the flagship TXI series, and also the entry-level G5. Dynon Avionics has the Skyview certified, but with limited approvals. And we'll look at it in an upcoming video on this channel. And you could look for a full report on the uh, Aspen Evolution Max displays in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglisano, and thanks to James Buck from Aspen Avionics for the demo. Thank you for your time.